Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at adding vibration to our Ionic 3 applications. Start off by making a new Ionic app by running Ionic Start Vibration blank dash dash v2. When you've done that, we can add the Cordova Vibration plugin by running Ionic plugin add Cordova dash plugin dash vibration. We can also save this to our config.xml with dash dash save. After that, we need to run npm install at ionic native slash vibration. Make sure you save that to the project as well and hit enter. And then gonna add Android as I will be testing this on an Android device. So ionic platform add Android. And finally, I'm gonna run this on the Android device using ionic run Android dash L. This will update any changes I make on the desktop straight to the Android device like ionic serve. The first thing that we need to do is go to source app app module. So we need to import vibration from ionic native slash vibration and then add vibration to the list of providers. After that, we can head to the home page. So home.ts and then we need to import vibration once again and then inject it inside of our constructor. I'm then going to have a simple button that calls a function called vibrate. And when we click the button, we're going to call this dot vibration dot vibrate and then we want to give a time number so this is the milliseconds to vibrate the device but we can also pass in an array let's start off by using 2000 so that will be two seconds of vibration when we click the button to wire this up we can make a button so inside of home.html I'm going to add the click event vibrate and the text of the button will say vibrate if we then check this out on the device, we can see we have a button which says vibrate. I'm going to click the button. And you can see we get two seconds of vibration. We can make this longer by saying five seconds. As I mentioned before, another thing that we can do is specify an array for our vibrations. So if we take this and pass through an array instead, we'll start off with a vibration of one second. Then after the one second, that's the amount of time we want to pause for. So let's pause for half a second and then let's vibrate again for another second. If we run this on the device, we should see it vibrates for a second, pauses for half a second and then it vibrates for a second again. You can make this as complex as you want and that's effectively it for the vibration plugin within Cordova and Ionic Native. If you like this and you're going to use it within your applications, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more Ionic 3 tutorials. And until next time, my name is Paul Halliday and I'll see you in the next video.